Boris Johnson's Brexit deal has blown a £23 million hole in the finances of the Scottish fishing industry, the Prime Minister has been warned, and Mike Park said the problem stemmed from the government's failure to stand up to Brussels adequately to defend the interests of UK fishermen. Mr Park, Chief Executive of the Scottish White Fish Producers Association SWFPA, warned the terms of the deal signed in December were likely to result in a massive shortfall in key quotas for whitefish vessels which will see some businesses go under. He told Fishing News in terms of key species such as cod, saith, hake and Norwegian others, he had noticed a shortfall in value of £23 million relative to Scottish producer organisations' catches of such species last year. He stressed it would not be possible to make up the deficit by increasing catches of different species like nephrops, plice and haddock. Mr Park added, some will say you've got all those other species to catch and you've got additional quota for that, but these are species we were freely fishing on before, and the chances are we won't be catching any more of them. The species that we do need, we don't have enough of. To try to offset that loss in financial terms just doesn't make sense, it's a big gap to fill, and it can't just be filled by fishing harder on other species, because you're fishing harder for them anyway. Some vessels are going to find it difficult, and some businesses will fail. Mr. Park was also pessimistic about the situation improving. He explained, I can't see that the governments can transact in the same way the POs did. The POs had the knack of extracting every piece of fish out of the EU they wanted. There were some really imaginative deals that the government will not be able to facilitate because they do not have the expertise. As for attitudes in Brussels, he said, the Commission has made it clear they don't want to do it, and will legally mandate the member states to deal with the UK in isolation. If the government were strong enough to stand back and operate the old system where the POs consulted and they mandated the deals, I would imagine things would get back to some semblance of normality. That said, it's difficult to see how we can get back to that flow of quota that we've seen before.